Hi, Amy with Experience the Quilt. Today we're going to assemble our art quilt. This is my favorite part. Let's get this party started. Hi, it's so fun to be back with you today. We're going to start putting our quilt together. You're going to need certain tools to assemble your art quilt. We're gonna need scissors. We're gonna need a marker, even a fabric marker, a pencil. You're going to need some fusible adhesive, whatever kind you wanna use, and an iron, an ironing board, and your pattern and your fabrics. So I have my big pattern, and the first thing that I did was I turned it over and I placed it on a light box. If you don't have a light box, a window works great. Um, and sometimes if you have your dark black lines, that's even enough. Because I took my fusible adhesive, which today I am using Applique by Floriani, and it comes in big rolls, and like three yard rolls, I think is what it comes in. And this has the adhesive or the glue on the back and um, a shiny like freezer paper kind of paper on the front of it. So I took all of my, because I wanted to, I want to be able to flip it over and place it on my quilt, I had to turn my pattern over backwards. Um, so that's what I did. And these are my, my pieces all drawn out. And I, you can see that they're, they don't make a lot of sense. I didn't draw all in one piece. I drew them separately because we're gonna be cutting them out and putting them on different pieces of fabric. So that's why they are like this. This is my face and my hands placed on my fabric. This was a piece of my hand painted fabric and I put it, I auditioned where I wanted it, put it right where I did and then I ironed it with my really hot iron. And so it is ready to cut out. I also did that with my hair. I figured out where, just where I wanted it on the brown and ironed it. So today that's what we're going to do with the rest of these pieces. I'm just going to cut them out and I typically start with my biggest piece because that is the piece that you are going to want to place, well, I guess it's different with a lot of different art quilts, but with typically you need something to show you, to give you a reference point for where you're placing all your other pieces. I wouldn't want to start with my hair. I wouldn't want to start with my face, even though it goes under the body, because it will, I don't have a reference point of where to put it on my background fabric. So by using the body um, of the woman, it will give me a reference point of where to put everything else. If you are working with something that has a lot of little pieces and you don't have a big piece to give you a reference point, then I highly suggest you use your light box and place your fabric over, place your fabric over your pattern and use a fabric marker, like these little blue ones. They work great um, they, and they go away with water. Um, you, there's ones that go away with iron, with ironing, with heat. Um, there are some that go away just with time, with air. And those are great if you're doing this quickly and working in like a couple of hours because that does disappear pretty fast. But uh, you can just draw on your fabric where you want things to go. Like I might draw right here that this is where my hair should be so I can line things up. You can draw the whole pattern out so you know where you want it to be and that way um, you know where to place everything. Some quilts I do that and some quilts I do not. It's according to the pieces and if there's lots of little ones or, or like I said, something to give me a reference point. So if you want to learn more about fusible adhesives because I've used lots of different kinds over the years, I just ha put up a blog on my website that talks about the like eight different kinds of fusible adhesives that I like best and their pros and cons. And so go ahead and check out my blog to learn more about that. But like I said, today we're using Applique by Floriani. And you want to make sure when you're pressing, like here is my white fabric, you want your right side to be down and the glue side of your um, fusible adhesive to be on the wrong side of the fabric. So I cut out just enough fabric for my piece and I place it on there and I use my very hot iron to slowly move across. Different fusible adhesives have different directions on how to use them. So uh, I know like Steam is Steam 2 requires steam. Uh, this applique does not. 
and so that you just need to follow the directions on the paper they all typically have um, the directions right on the paper or there's a little piece of paper instruction or you can google it too to find out exactly what yours need to be this one I feel like needs longer time to get it to adhere but I one thing I like about it is that it is repositionable so that when after I cut it out because once I iron this, then I will cut it out my fabric with it. Um, then I remove the paper. It will be sticky enough that I can place it on my quilt. And if it's not where I want it, I can move it. Then when I iron it again, it will be permanent and you won't be able to move it. But that first, the first initial time where it's still sticky and you can move it around. Steam is seam too is similar um, that you can move it around after pressing it the first time. So that's really handy. I, I like it to be able to be repositionable. I one thing I don't love is um, the paper, and I just found out. I just learned that there's a lot of chemicals and solvents in these, and that's what makes them really sticky. And so that's not great. Um, I'm since I just learned that I'm going to be switching to using more of a product called Misty Fuse that does not contain that, and I will do a video on that shortly. But in my blog, there's a video on it, a video link as well to another um, another lady talking about Misty Fuse, which is really cool. So I think I've got that pressed enough. So see, it is attached. And now I'm going to cut it out with my scissors. Here is our assembled art quilt, but it's not finished yet. Join us next time where we learn how to embellish to make your art quilt pop. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have those unfinished quilts, check out experiencethequilt.com and place your order. And we'll see you next time. To make it, I'll, I'll, okay, stop. <laughs>